I'm just about to recycle some hard drives. And what I do is I, I take them apart and give the parts to my daughter. She uses them to make jewelry. So I thought, you know what, let's uh, have a little tutorial on disassembling a hard drive. Not that you ever will have to. But also just point out the parts and turn one on when it's open. Really fun stuff. So let's get started. Looks like a Western Digital. One terabyte. Yeah, I don't work. I don't use electric. I'm just old school. So I've always been like that. Okay, so now should be another screw right there. Again, I have no idea why you would want to open a hard drive. Um, I've fixed one hard drive by opening it but your odds of fixing a hard drive are very low these things are made in a extremely clean room any kind of contamination can wreck the ability to keep data okay, there we go. Uh, it's no glue or anything it's just really really tight forming tight fitting it's, even after all the years I fixed computers it's still amazing to see this man okay there we go okay so we're just recycling okay okay so let's plug this puppy in okay 5400 rpm Ooh, scary stuff okay here we go I'm scared I'm always scared <laughs> So there you have it. So I unplugged it from my laptop. Plug it into the laptop. No. Before I took this apart, it detected it. Since I opened it, nothing. Look at the head. It's kind of cool, eh? That's okay. So that's that's about 5,400 RPMs. Pretty cool. It's going to disconnect it from the computer. And it shuts off. Okay, so let's disassemble this baby. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I'm not taking the screws out in any particular order. I just start unscrewing things. Okay, let's see. Pretty cool. It's very light. I had the right one. Like theoretically, I could probably take the pliers out with moving the head, but it's just easier to free it up. Now these magnets are tough, man. Some of the strongest magnets you'll ever come by. These ones are, oh, that's not a magnet. See, some of these older hard drives or newer, well, different hard drives will only have one side is magnetized. This is just metal. Um, well, I, well, I killed that head. This head is wrecked now. <laughs> oh, this one's going to be a pain. These screws are not magnetic. Come on, don't be like that. 
that. Oh, that's why. Okay, sorry guys. Duh, see? Yeah. Now we can turn. I still can't. Okay, fine. You like that? That's a platter. Somebody did is on there. Oh, it's totally right. I put my figures on there. It's just... You can't put... Uh, cleaner on there and expect it to work after that that's for sure okay and then these guys one more screw See, here's a bunch of heads. I'll show you. See, see, this one probably had multiple platters and one set of heads each. This one only had one platter, so hence only one head. See that? Yeah, very cool, very intricate. So, so cool. Computers, and here's the magnet there. So a little bit tiny but strong yeah yeah pinch your fingers in there boy okay okay I'm gonna shut off and get a laptop hard drive see you in a bit okay here we have a laptop hard drive and here here the here's some laptops I've already done platters right there so let's move those over there Okay, let's get started. Disassemble. What should we do first? Well, I think you can see there's some screws here. Smaller parts mean smaller screwdriver, right? In theory, anyways. Now there's always another one. Always, always. Well, I think so. Well, be careful if you do this because you could slip and cut yourself with a screwdriver. Okay, so there we go. Ooh, nice. So pretty. So pretty. Okay, let's plug this puppy in. Let's see what it does. Oh, it's scared. Same thing, I know it's just, yeah, it's, it's, it's a hard drive enclosure, but it'll still work. See, the same. Mm -hmm. That's 5,400 5, RPM. Amazing. And that's the head. See, that goes back and forth reading data. But this one's broke. Oh, wow. This one only has one little screw in the middle. Uh, 
Um, oh crap. Okay, so see? Same thing. A lot smaller. See that? Yeah. Okay. Um, so what is holding this in here? See this? This here. There's probably a screw on the other side. Well, that was easy enough. Just came right out. See that? And looks like there's two of them. Hence, there's a spacer. That was between the... Oh, so stupid. That was between the platters. I'll show you how it looks if I get this out of here. <sighs> okay, so there's the other side of the magnet. See that? Those things. These are not bad. See, these I can take apart. The large hard drive, no way. There's the head. See? Smaller. Everything's smaller. See, that had two platters, right? And the big. Hard drive, uh, laptop, desktop. Okay, so yeah, so like I was saying, you got the two platters, right? But they can't touch each other. So guess what? You gotta have a spacer. So they got the spacer, another platter, and they ride. They just sort of there. There we go. Pull away a bit. There you go. See that? Pretty cool, huh? Okay. It's amazing. See? Control the board. A lot smaller again. Okay, well that's uh, that's destined for recycling and really light, really light stuff. And that's that's the motor there. Pretty pretty cool, eh? Anyways, take care.